let's now understand simple linear regression in a simple way. We already know what is simple linear regression, right? That is what we have discussed in the last video. So if you have missed to see that, please click on the link that is given in the description. Then if you come back to this video, you can understand it very well, right? So simple linear regression is very simple. We try to build mathematical relationship between dependent variable and independent variable. So let's take an example first. Based upon the number of hours of study, let's try to predict the marks. Based upon the number of hours of study, predict the marks scored by a student. So the number of hours of study is the independent variable and marks is the dependent variable. So basically, we are trying to build the relationship between R's and marks. I hope all of you remember the equation too, right? Y is equal to Mx plus C. So now we are going to derive that amazing result, right? So uh, do not skip the video. Look into the video. Definitely, you will get more clarity about it. There is no doubt about it. So let me import the packages like NumPy to play with array. Pandas to play with the data set, matplotlib for visualization, and I'm going to perform linear regression model. So I am passing some data for R's as well as marks. So this is what my data set is, right? So in the x-axis, I'm taking R's. Why R's is taken in x-axis? Exactly, because that is the independent variable. And marks is taken in y-axis because that is the dependent variable. Sometimes people ask me questions like, Lata, why have you written capital X, small y? Nothing like that. You can write anything. Okay. So let me instantiate the model, uh, the linear regression model. I'm fitting it with that. Right. So if you get this result, which means that it is really uh, going to work out very well. So how you need to practice, right? For the beginners, let me tell you, when I explain the code part by part, you pass the video, write the code and check. In case if any part of the code is throwing the error, uh, please share it in the chat with the code what you have written so that I can guide you on that. Right? So I just want to get the slope as well as the intercept. If you remember what is the equation of linear regression. So let me take my pen. Y is equal to mx plus c. Right? So this is what we are trying to find out, right? So we have built the model of linear regression. So this and this we want. So you can see the result now, 10 and 40. So what is meant by slope? We have discussed like del y by del x, which is nothing but change in dependent variable when there is unit change in independent variable. So change in marks when there is unit change in number of hours of study, right? So what is the value of it? Slope you can see like 10, right? So m is equal to 10. And the intercept, right? What is meant by intercept we have discussed? Even in the absence of independent variable, there would be uh, some value of dependent variable. Even though uh, people who do not study for the examination, they would be getting some marks, right? So that's basically intercept according to this example. So y is equal to mx plus c. I hope so far it is clear to everyone. So I can uh, create a column with the predicted marks as well as this, right? So let me try to do that, right? So df of predicted marks. So let me try to display it and show you how it is actually looking like. So you can see number of hours is one. This is the actual data which I have passed here, right? So this is what being predicted. In this particular case, if you see that everything is looking exactly the same because the data is linear. What is meant by linear? 1, 50, 2, 60, 4, 80. So you can see that it is gradually increasing or it is increasing at the same rate. Very good. So let me go ahead with the plot now to see how the points are looking like. So uh, what I'm going to give in x-axis R's, y-axis marks, any color you can give and what label you want you can give it. So you can see that this is what I'm getting it. So generally in school days we might have done it right x-axis y-axis we just plot the points. This part has been done. 
what is the next part already we know the equation what i'm trying to do now i'm just trying to show the equation to you N not really required but in case if you want to visualize that you can go ahead with that if you are writing the code along with me uh, please pass write it down try it off if you watch it like a movie now you can understand but later you cannot get it that's really important right so i am trying to plot it for hours as well as marks and then i want to make a red color line so you can see that this is the line i am actually getting it very simple what is this line actually what is the equation of this line nothing but y is equal to 10x plus 40 how this is been derived based upon the input and the output what we have already passed so in case if i want to predict for three hours of study right so let me see that you can see the output is 70 so you can also see that here right three if i just draw a line over here definitely it will connect at 70 so now you may be thinking like Lata, this is uh, just a linear equation. So it is working fine. It's not necessary that the person who is studying for uh, two hours is going to get 60. Sometimes it could be just 52 also, right? Not necessary that it should increase gradually also, right? Randomly I'm changing like a 45 who studied for four hours may be getting less marks also. So let me run the code and show you. So you may be uh, wondering like uh, how that is actually going to happen. So you can see that when the data is not linear, right? So actually the mark should be 50, but the model is predicting like 41. When it is 52, it is predicting like 51, right? 45, 71, right? So you can see that there is a huge change because there is lot of randomness over here right because 1 is 50 2 is 52 4 is 45 so now the question is in this particular example is it advisable to use linear regression so people who already know about linear regression or you can use any gpt forums any platforms and let me know which whether uh, linear regression would be the a right model or we need to go ahead with any other machine learning model right so you can see that in case if i go ahead with that again this would be giving some equation there is no doubt about it but can you see that how the points are looking like a very bad right it's not increasing gradually right you can see that this is what we are getting uh, so when we fit it with that this is the equation or this is the line we are getting what is the equation y is equal to 9.93x plus 31.65. So what is the takeaway here? Linear regression works very well with the linear data. But in the industry, we cannot expect the data to be linear. So in such cases, can we use linear regression or not? That's my question, right? So if you know the answer, please comment it. If you do not know the answer, then also you can comment it so I can tell you the answer. Thank you so much.